2.3g, multiply and divide with fractions, divide with variables. With exponents on variables, it may help to expand them. And remember that repeated multiplication is done with exponents. Um, just kind of a quick reminder that when we divide with fractions, say that we have something like this, two-thirds divided by, say, four-fifths, that we are going to be taking two-thirds times the reciprocal of what we are dividing by. In example one, first thing that we need to do is rewrite as a multiplication problem. So that means we get 10x over 3y squared times 21xy all over 10. Now I'm looking for common factors between top and bottom. I see that I have a common factor of 3. 3 divided by 3 is 1. 21 divided by 3 is 7. I have a common factor of 10. 10 divided by 10 is 1. I have two y squareds on the bottom. I have one on top. That's going to leave me just one on the bottom. And we don't have anything else in common now, so we can do our multiplication. So we have 1 times 7, which gives me 7. x times x is x squared. And let's see, we just looks like we just have a 1 and a y for a denominator. On our second example, again, we want to change this to a multiplication problem. So we're going to take 14m all over 3n times 6m squared n over 7. Looking for common factors. I have a common factor of 7. 7 divided by 1 is or by 7 is 1, 14 divided by 7 is 2. Common factor of 3, 3 divided by 3 is 1, 6 divided by 3 is 2. Um, let's see, common factor of n, and I think that that takes care of everything. Looks like we have only 1's in the denominator, so up top we get 4 times 4, which would or 2 times 2, which would be 4, and m times m squared, which would be m cubed, and we are done.